My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So for dinner tonight, we are having a non-traditional steak dinner. I say that because I normally serve my steak with baked potatoes and salad, but um, this time I am serving it with just some macaroni and cheese and some sauteed kale and leeks. That is Harrison. <laughs> He's upset about something but this is a macaroni and cheese that I'm using it was in my pantry been in there for a while needed to use it and then this is the kale that I am using from Trader Joe's um, and again I just sauteed it with some leeks and I got it on a recent Trader Joe's haul I'll link it in the description if you want to check out what I picked up I seasoned the kale with this kinders um, and then I seasoned the steak with this so this week, I am just gonna try to use up what I have on hand. I am trying to not go to the grocery store at all. That is my goal this week. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So we are having another freezer meal for dinner tonight, and fridge, I guess. So in my refrigerator, I had some potatoes. I threw a large one in the air fryer, and Howard and I are splitting it. I also had some leftover stir-fried green beans. And then from the freezer, we are eating these shrimp from HEB, jumbo cheddar biscuit shrimp butterfly. I popped them in the air fryer. So I wasn't sure what to expect. I've never had them before. I thought there would be more breading. There isn't. Um, they are breaded, but it's not like a biscuit breading, which I thought it would be. But it does have a little cheesy kind of taste. Um, they're pretty good. I don't know that I would have to have them again. They're just okay to me. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am trying out a new recipe. It is for a creamy tomato soup. So it calls for some fresh basil, which I have chopped up. It calls for a jar of um, pasta sauce, heavy whipping cream. It calls for two cups of water, but I think I'm just going to add some um, low sodium bouillon to that just to give it some more flavor, but it's really easy. All I'm gonna do is saute the basil and then you just throw everything else in. Okay, so the soup is ready. It does have a good flavor. I am glad that I added the bouillon to it because I think if you just added two cups of water, it would be pretty bland, but it does have a good flavor. And I added two teaspoons of bouillon for the two cups of water. On the side, I'm having some five cheese garlic bread. I really wanted a grilled cheese sandwich, but I mentioned to you all that I was trying not to go to the grocery store this week. And so we have this in the freezer and that is what I made. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. For dinner tonight, we are having another quick and easy pantry freezer meal. So in my freezer, I had a bag of chicken wings and so I decided to make these spicy wings. Um, Williams is the name of the brand. I've made these before, but it's been at least probably a year ago. These are really good. Uh, I mean, the seasoning mix is really good. It has great flavor. Um, all you need is wings and then milk or buttermilk, and then you just, um, you can bake them in the oven, which is what I did, or you can pan fry or deep fry them, but they are good. They have a nice little kick to them. With it, I am serving some pastaroni that I had in my pantry, and then I just made some buttered corn that I had in my freezer. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So Howard and I are trying out a new Mexican restaurant for lunch today. So this is Howard's plate. He got a lunch special, chileriano with chicken, which is in the center there. It comes with rice and beans. And on top of the chileriano is supposed to be this mixture of um, pecans and raisins, but he got them on the side instead of on top of his chileriano. And then I just got an enchilada and taco lunch special right here. Enchilada's right here. It's just a cheese enchilada with chili sauce and onions, beans, rice, and then there is my taco. And then we already ate up the chips and the salsa. 
So for dinner tonight, I'm kind of throwing together a meal that I have made up. So in this skillet, I've got some olive oil, I've got some garlic, and I had a package of this Purdue chicken in my freezer, thawed it out, and now I'm just kind of browning it in the skillet. Right back here, I have some pesto that I made, and this is the pesto sauce that I used. It was in my pantry, so I cooked that up. You could do this also if you have the jarred pesto, but again, just trying to use what I've got on hand. And then in this pot, I've got some tortellini boiling in my, it was um, in my fridge, Trader Joe's, it's a little 10 ounce package. I've got that going as well. So once that's done, I'm going to add it to the skillet along with the pesto. And then I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese here. It's gonna be a quick and easy dinner tonight. All right, so our dinner is ready, and this is very tasty, good flavor, and as you can see, it was quick and easy to throw together. So I'm just serving it with a side salad. I'm probably gonna have this um, Olive Garden salad dressing, just trying to use it up. And then I don't know if Howard's gonna have this or not. Um, I got this for him to try from HEB, which is a grocery store here in Texas. So we'll see which one he wants. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time.